Hi, I am Natalie Kiefer. I am a doctor of physical therapy and I am double board certified in orthopedics and women's health as a clinical specialist. And I also am a certified fertility care practitioner. So two different scopes of practice, but both of them kind of revolve around the same demographic. And in this women's health world that I've been in for a few years now, um, I've discovered that not a lot of women or men <laughs> know what fertility awareness based methods are for family planning. So that's what I wanted to talk about today briefly. Fertility awareness based methods uh, are other, also known as natural family planning. Um, it's also known as just fertility awareness methods, but there's kind of some different nuance to when you would use those different terms. But for all of them, they're basically the absence of using any sort of contraception, but still trying to effectively plan your family by avoiding or achieving pregnancy. So there are a ton of different indications of fertility for a woman. For men, we assume that men are always fertile, right? So unless there's a fertility issue, men are, there's no cyclical nature to it. Men are fertile all the time. Women are actually infertile most of the time and only fertile for about three to five days in a given cycle. Um, so as a couple, three to five days, right? So it makes sense that if a couple wants to use a natural method for family planning, you just need to track a woman's fertility and then identify when she's fertile and that means the couple's fertile. So lots of different ways that a woman could identify when she's fertile. There are different things that occur hormonally around that time when you're going to ovulate and so some of those symptoms or signs that you can track include using a fertility monitor so you're urinating on a test strip and it's telling you if you have an increase in LH, that luteinizing hormone, which is an indication of ovulation. You can track vaginal discharge, which would be like bleeding and cervical mucus. And you can track all kinds of other symptoms like basal body temperature, um, palpating the location and kind of the sensation at your cervix, all kinds of stuff, right? So there's a bunch of different methods in this world of fertility awareness-based methods, right? So that's one thing I wanted to clarify. A lot of times in statistics, they're lumped together. So you may go in to your doctor's office and be asking about natural methods and they're gonna say, oh, they're not very effective, right? Well, like anything else, there's a huge spectrum of having this very entry level method. You're using an app to track your period and it's guessing when you're fertile, not gonna be very effective, right? It may be simple and you know accessible, which is great, not as effective. And then you go all the way to this end of the spectrum where you have methods that are requiring a lot more education and training, probably cost more money, and you're working oftentimes one-on-one -on -one with an instructor, which is what I do as a fertility care practitioner. So I'm kind of more on this end of things where I'm really kind of walking hand in hand with a couple to learn how to identify their fertility, and that's why this end is actually very effective for avoiding and achieving pregnancy. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. They're not all created equal. And among that spectrum, there are so many different things that could we track to identify fertility that it goes from something like I mentioned over here that's super simple, like just entering into an app when your period is, all the way to over here where we have women that have maybe really complex irregular cycles and they may be tracking multiple signs and symptoms and then kind of using this um, chart to compare a number of variables and say, okay, this is when we're more or less fertile, right? Um, the method that I teach, the Creighton model, specifically just tracks vaginal discharge and you'll notice that we never actually speak about more or less fertile. We'd make it black and white, you're fertile or you're infertile. And that's just because we're only really tracking that one symptom of vaginal discharge versus comparing multiple things and saying, well, this one's telling me I'm slightly more fertile, this one's not seeing that, so we meet somewhere in the middle. I personally really appreciate that. I think a lot of my clients do because it makes it more black and white and you're taking a lot of that interpretation out of it. Like I said, with my method also that I'm teaching, you're working with an instructor or a practitioner, so when you have questions, I get those texts all the time, hey, here, I'm gonna send you a picture of my chart, can you clarify what do you think's going on here, do we need to set up a meeting, or is this just you know a simple thing that you can answer for me, which is really great to have that continued support and follow-up. Um, so natural methods, are really the absence of any sort of intervention. So we know that they're safe. So there's a lot of debate in the health world about it, you know, the, the safety and the health effects of contraception. I don't wanna get into all of that right now, but I think we can all identify, you know, there, there may be some benefits, there may be some um, adverse reactions, 
it's definitely much more invasive. Most forms of contraception are invasive. A natural method is just observing your cycle, and so it's not invasive at all, and so there's not really any of those negative side effects from it, which is really great. So a lot of women that I work with are wanting to use a natural method because they've had bad experiences with other methods, right? They've had hormonal issues, they've had all kinds of unusual bleeding, you know, they've had mood instability, all that kind of stuff that left them jaded um, with more of the artificial contraception, and now they wanna move into a natural method. The final thing I wanna tell you, just to kind of summarize fertility awareness-based methods, they're not just for avoiding pregnancy. So it's really hard to compare them to contraception because it's apples and oranges. Um, a natural method is meant to help a couple identify fertility and infertility, and with that knowledge, that couple can decide to avoid or to achieve pregnancy. So that's something that contraception can never offer. It's not gonna help you get pregnant, right? So for most people, for most couples, there is gonna be a time where then they're like, okay, we wanna switch our, our intention here from trying to avoid to trying to achieve. And that's where a natural method is awesome because you haven't done anything to mess with your body chemistry. So you are able to just immediately make that switch and make that decision without having to wait any amount of time for fertility to return or anything like that. And you have the added benefit of actually knowing when you're fertile, so you're just more likely to get pregnant more quickly with what we would call fertility-focused intercourse. You're just aware of when you're fertile, right? So obviously it's gonna be easier to get pregnant than random acts of intercourse. So, so many different types of fertility awareness-based methods, something that could fit pretty much anyone's needs, which I think is fantastic, but remember that they're not all created equal and they are not the same as contraception and they may be a really good alternative to the invasive methods that you may have been using for family planning. So hopefully that was helpful. And if you wanna learn more, you can always follow up with me directly, send me a question and I'll get back to you. Thanks.